Hello, boys and girls. My name is Lotsus T, and today I come to you with a tip from the Factorio world, uh, especially doing sheet calls with cooling. And I had quite a difficult time figuring this out uh, because if um, what I did up to now was basically um, directly create the uh, plates from the molten iron or the, the molten uh, metal. But if we have a look here, uh, I need 40 molten iron for four iron plates. So that's 10 molten iron per plate. And if I look at the shield uh, sheet, I get four plates from one coil. And if we have here two uh, recipes for the, the coils, uh, the one with the water, I use 80 molten iron and get two coils out. So that's the double amount of uh, molten metal I need, but I get uh, two coils out, which means I get eight sheet, which is basically the same as here, right? But the, 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 the benefit of using coils is it uses less space on the belts and if you um, split it up in an assembling machine uh, you can then apply production to it and get more plates out of it than uh, if you would uh, use this recipe. But if we look at this one we're using 140 molten iron getting four sheet coils out and if it would be at the same ratio as here we would need 160 molten iron so it's it's a bit um, more efficient but the thing is we need coolant and we need coolant that is below 50 degrees celsius and we get out coolant that is 300 degrees Celsius. So I was baffled with uh, how this cooling loop actually works. But once you have it figured out, it's not that difficult. So the first step is you need to uh, create a bit of coolant to get you started. And later on we will see during the process we also lose a bit of coolant so uh, we have to constantly supply and this is done by water and mineral oil uh, which i have uh, in abundance then the next step is Yes, we can we can already use that because it's it's coming out at the right temperature. But then we have to deal with the uh, the used coolant which comes out here goes up here all the way up here. And here we can see three cooling towers. And I don't know if this is the best setup, but basically um, the used coolant here has 300 degrees and it needs to be cooled down to uh, the, uh, the 50, 50 degrees or below 50 degrees uh, because the cooling happens on the uh, used product and then the used product is uh, used to renew the coolant. We will see that soon. So what we have here, we have the stage three 
which basically let's let's look at the uh, recipes there's it's it's a bit clearer stage three um, takes coolant at max temperature 300 and cools it down uh, to coolant of 200 degrees so here in the uh, ingredients, uh, you can see uh, the, the used coolant should be between 250 and 350 degrees. And then the next stage, that's from 150 degrees to 250 degrees, cools it down to 100 degrees. And the last stage, 50 degree to 150 degree cools it down to 25 degree Celsius always. So these are the three stages. Uh, we get here coolant out at uh, 200 degrees, 100 degrees and then 25 degrees. And as a side, we get steam out that we can pump into uh, uh, some steam turbines. Um, currently, I'm using all the power that I need, but that's because it's night. During daytime, I have overproduction. That's why I have uh, this flare here, just in case um, uh, I don't use enough uh, power. Then here the cooled down used coolant goes back in to the uh, filtration machines where they are renewed and we get uh, fresh coolant out at 25 degrees Celsius and we need here these uh, filters, um, ceramic filters, which are quite handy to use because to uh, to renew them, they only require uh, purified water, and probably placing them on this side of the belt would help a bit, and. That's how it works. You can see it um, with the uh, renewing. You actually have two options, using cold filters or using the ceramic filters. I went for the ceramic filters because the, uh, the cleaning of the, or the reprocessing of the used ceramic filters to uh, new ceramic filters only uses purified water. Um, while uh, the coal filters um, use up coal and uh, water I have in abundance. Coal is a bit more uh, of a nuisance. But um, you can see here we give in 200 used coolant and we get out only 160 coolant which means we are losing uh, a portion um, 40 coolant so that's why we have to supply to uh, for, supply uh, constantly coolant and uh, as the uh, mineral oil is not in constant supply I have a storage here to make sure there is always something available, uh, not that the, uh, the coil presses uh, stop working. That's it for this tip. Hope you liked it. And if you want to see more, um, have a look at my channel. Uh, I have various series going on there. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.